Greetings, friends. Today, I would like to tell you a little UFO story, a little heard UFO story from 1955. It's a story that I stumbled across, um, not in UFO lore, but in music history lore. Um, I've been writing about music for years now, and um, also been interviewing musicians about music for quite some time. And um, in the process of that, I came upon a story that I've never heard anybody else tell before, but it's an interesting one. Before I get into it, I would sincerely appreciate if you could give this video a like and possibly give me a subscription. Either one of those would seriously be uh, sincere, would sincerely be appreciated as I grow this channel. Each like and subscription helps me tremendously. Okay. Now, on to the subject matter at hand. We're talking about the song, A Satisfied Mind. It was a country music hit in 1955, but it's actually been covered by many artists since then, um, from Bob Dylan to Jeff Beck. But the song was a hit with its uh, original um, recording and release. And it was released by Porter Wagner, but Porter Wagner did not write the song. The song was written by uh, Red Hayes and Jack Rhodes. Now, in the time since then, because the song became a hit, Hayes has said that the song was inspired by his mother. However, in 1955, the Bear family, the Bear family is a German indie label. Um, I don't know if you could, I don't even know if it's accurate to call them indie at this point. I mean, they've been around for decades, but um, most of what they do is they compile American folk music of all kinds, whether that be um, like folk as we think of it, or country music, or blues, R&B, rhythm and blues, um, all that kind of stuff. And th they've been at this um, forever. So in the 1955 um, edition, um, which was released as part of the um, Country Western Hit Parade series, of Dim Lights, Thick Smoke, and Hillbilly Music. That was the title of these compilations that the Bear family put out every year for several years. Um, I actually am not sure how long they went, but I've seen additions throughout all of the 50s and into the 60s. So for at least a decade, they were making these compilations of country music songs. And in the editions, they would come with these booklets that had very detailed history behind the songs. Well, in this booklet, a writer named Colin Escott told the story that Red Hayes did not get this song, did not get a satisfied mind, the song from his mother. Hopefully he got an actually satisfied mind from his mother. I assume she was a good mother. There's no reason not to assume that, but, um, in terms of the song, Red Hayes, apparently, according to this account, um, had a UFO encounter. He walked up to the UFO and he touched the UFO. The UFO burned him. When he recovered from his injuries, he said he had a satisfied mind in his mind. The song had been planted there um, as a whole thing. It was like gifted to him by his contact with this um, UFO. Now, the interesting thing about this, an aspect of UFO encounters that was common in the 50s, and, and I should say, I'm not actually a, a big believer in UFOs. I'm fascinated by the phenomenon. Um, I have my ideas on what it is, but I don't believe in nuts and bolts UFOs. I shouldn't say I don't believe it. I think it's highly unlikely, and it's not something that I operate from on a regular basis. I would think if there are UFOs, it's, it's got something to do with the physical nature of reality that we don't understand. Um, it's some kind of like interdimensional thing or something to do with human consciousness. The, the John, I'm very much of the John Keel, um, Jacques Vallée school of thinking. Um, however, the, the uh, phenomenon is fascinating and um, I'm not discounting all of these encounters. I'm just saying that I don't believe in the nuts and bolts idea that aliens um, fly here in metal spaceships from other planets. Or, again, it's not that I don't believe that. I think that's the less, least likely of all possible explanations. Um, but anyway, 
an interesting aspect of the um, 50s UFO encounters was that it wasn't uncommon at all that the UFOs would um, would give them these kind of spiritual messages because the song is Satisfied Mind. It's, um, it's basically just saying that all the money in the world, all the power is worth nothing compared to a satisfied mind. A satisfied mind is the, the greatest goal in life. Because if you have a satisfied mind, that means you've been a moral person. That means you're grounded. Um, that means you understand what's important in life. That means you're humble, etc. So that's what a satisfied mind is about. Um, it's, a, it's about character and about wisdom. And those kind of um, messages were not uncommon at all in the 50s. Frequently, people that would encounter UFOs would get these um, would have these things, these messages in their heads or the UFOs would speak or the, the aliens would speak to them telepathically or whatever and um, give them these messages of like, you know, brotherhood and peace and um, what we would call spiritual insights, really. Um, you know, telling people to love their brother. And in this case, um, telling people that chasing after riches and glory and power is not the way to happiness. The way to happiness is to have a satisfied mind, to be a good person, to be a moral person, and to be a grounded person. And so that was actually a big part of the UFO phenomenon back in the day. Um, you even had cults who, um, I mean, you still have these cults today. They still exist today. But they treat UFOs as um, kind of like uh, like gods or at least spiritual beings. And some of them overtly and um, directly so like i mean they that's their philosophy their philosophy is that the aliens are enlightened beings um i mean you've had people who say that the angels in the bible were actually aliens and i'm sure everybody's heard all of that before um so the message that he got in that context was not really totally unique but uh but it is a, to me, a amusing and um, funny UFO story that you don't hear told very often because um, even whether it's in music history or in um, UFO history, it's just a story that seems to have slipped through the cracks. But um, a satisfied mind was a number one country hit. So it's possible that a satisfied mind was the only UFO inspired country music hit in history. And yet people don't know this. How can we not know this, in, in, this um, incredibly important fact of life? But uh, I thought it was funny. I thought maybe you guys would find it funny as well. Thank you very much for your time. And again, if you wouldn't mind giving a like, giving a subscription, I would sincerely appreciate it. But if not, I love you anyway. I hope you have a great day. Bye.